All right, so welcome back. And if you remember from our last video, we worked out what we pages we need to create, um, singular page and index. And as I said in that video, WordPress requires there to be an index.php page. Because if you remember from the template hierarchy, where no other template can be found, that's the page it loads. Um, so let's open up Pine Grow and let's create a new page which we'll go call index.html and we're going to build this from scratch so you can see over here we have our um, our content tree and over here we have all the content modules which we can use to add content to the page so when we add divs and everything like that, it all appears in here. We have a couple of different layouts here. So you can drag things around and put things next to them, um, which I'm going to do. I'm going to have this next to this window while I build out the content. So I'll just close that down. The other thing here working in Pine Grow, we have our screen so we can change our screen resolution. So we can check all our different screens. Um, I'm going to work in laptop and um, laptop mode, and at the moment this is set to fit to screen. If we set it to 100%, it'll everything will be really small, and really congested, and we'll see it. So I just leave it as fit, and I quite often will flick between these views just to make sure that I'm building a fully responsive site. All right, so we are building our bootstrap. If we remember when we picked the page. And we'll just close that again just so I can do it again just to show you when we go new page you see it's on bootstrap see I've got all these here I'm not going to be using any of these if you don't want to use any bootstrap or any content you want to build purely from HTML there you go but we are going to use bootstrap for this it helps with our responsiveness I'm also not going to use any of the starter themes but by all means absolutely do that yourself so um, for example uh, if you wanted to make it a sticky header which we are going to um, which isn't in there I think it's the carousel or the cover but anyway we're going to start with the index.html okay so let's first up um, set up our header in our body then we're going to set up our main for our content area and then we're going to set up our footer so we're breaking our site up into three main areas oops i nested that footer so you see how that's now nested just drag it across no longer nested okay so we've put our content into uh, into our th we've set up three co main content areas for our header our main and our footer so as we are working in the index HTML file which is going to become our index.php when we convert this to a WordPress theme um, we want to make sure that we work within these three areas so let's go and add in um, some navigation so we'll add in the nav bar and we'll drag that into the header so that's now nested in the header now obviously I don't want this header I don't want any of this styling so I'm going to click on it and go into the properties of this and I'm going to untick navbar default so that will remove any styling from it I'm also going to click on here and make, click on the form and delete that you can do that from here and I'm also going to click on this navbar and you can see I didn't select the parent item so I'm just going to go back up to there to, uh, we want there we go so we want to delete this section here bang so now we've only got the header we've got a header we've got the um, container and we've got the content okay um, so this will be our logo this will be our nav bar um, now we can add in I'm going to just add in some content just so we can see the content in the header so I'm going to go into the library again and I'm going to look for a container inside our main and then when we click enter the container you see this comes up so we add in a row and in the row we can add in a column 
and for now I'm going to make this a full width column so you can see it's it's if I go into the properties it's four columns and we're going to just make this full cut width full full width for now we're going to work on our layout afterwards and then I'm going to add in um, some footer content so uh, how are we going to do that what are we going to make that look like let's look at our UI elements let's have a look so we can hover over and show what these are going to look like here we go so panel footer we'll go add that into our footer so there we go there's our panel footer so we can start now we've got some basic content in there building we can start working this through okay so we're five minutes down on this video so this is starting to look good now that we've got our three layouts here let's just go and change some content around let's go and edit this text and we'll make this our logo just to make it look good and we'll make change that footer and we'll go um, and copy 2016 all rights reserved west coast digital pty limited let's go and edit that code let's go and change that code edit code because you see that didn't work out like that we want to go and copy to make it a copyright sign let's close the key changes now I want my footer to be centrally aligned so let's go to properties and we'll go text align and center and what I want to do I'm going to remove that panel footer so we've removed the styling okay all right uh, so now we've got no styling on this page um, let us go in so we've got a gap up here if we click on we click on the nav bar you can see where it comes up you see where it comes up gray so what we want to do is we're going to click on this and this will open up our elements rules we've got no style CSS in our style sheet so we'll go and add a rule and we'll create and I'm not sure if it's margin so let's add zero yep so we've removed that margin from the bottom all right so the next thing I want to do with this um, header is we want to go change it to nav bar and fixed top so now everything has client jumped up underneath our header and if we look in if I zoom in no it's not gonna let me and if we look at that there um, we can see that we can still see the content behind it so that tells us that our nav bar is transparent which for this I want to create a transparent header um, so any content we add gets added behind behind um, the nav bar so we've got an overlay over our hero and what we want to do is when it scrolls when we have it scroll we're going to add it change the color of the background to be a solid color so that way when, as when the user starts to scroll our transparency disappears and we're going to be able to control all that so that's going to end this first video we're going to leave uh, this next video we're going to leave this one here and when we come back we'll start um, configuring um, some our index post which is going to be our, our blog layouts so stay with me and I will see you in the next video.